Let's talk about an idea that will scare some people to death. Some people are absolutely frightened to be less controlling. In fact, they want to get more and more and more control on everything they can. They're afraid to let go. They're afraid to let other people do some things. They, these are the people that will delegate and then micromanage after they delegated. Yeah, you know the kind. And they're just afraid to let folks go. It may be in the family. It may be on the work. It may be among friends. But it's, it's an ugly, ugly place to be. And, and most folks don't appreciate someone who's controlling. Now, we may love a controller, but we don't love them because they are a controller. And we would, in fact, love them much more if they weren't so controlling. Or you might say we love them, but we don't like them very much. In Philippians 4, 11 through 13, Paul said he's learned to do all things through Christ who strengthens. He learned to be content in whether he's full or whether he's starving. He's just learned to let life roll and be happy with whatever situation he is in. Christians need to get there. Now, yes, you have some responsibilities you need to deal with. I get that. But to be controlling what everybody else does? No, that's not your job. Our job is to respect other people. Kind of a scary thought if you're a controller, isn't it? In fact, if you're a controller, you are inferring necessarily that you don't respect other people. The necessary inference of a controller is other people aren't smart enough to manage their own life, and so I need to do it for them. Mm -hmm. That's part of it. Other people just don't have it together as I do. They're not as smart as I am. Therefore, I need to control. No, don't do that. Don't be that person. But that is what the controller is necessarily inferring. And while the controller may be oblivious to this inference, let me tell you, the person being controlled, they're aware of it. And they're not appreciating it. So, see where you can be less controlling. Now, don't be irresponsible in those things that are clearly your responsibility. But if it's not your responsibility, then be supportive to other people. Love and encourage and share what you know. But don't be controlling. Let them live their life. They're free moral agents. God gave them free moral agency. Respect his design and respect their free moral agency. Give me a comment below if you have a thought or an idea you'd like to share and have a great day.